How many dudes you know roll like this? How many dudes you know flow like this? Uh, not many, infinity. Not many, many. Thank you so much for your company this morning. Do you speak New Zealand? Well, we're just about to. Broadcaster and award-winning author Justin Brown has published 31 books for adults and children, and he's here to tell us all about the latest edition of Kiwi Speak. Great to have you on the cafe, mate, I guess is how we'd start the Yeah, kia ora bro, kia, kia ora bro, bro. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet <laughs> yeah. G'day, g'day. G'day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Kiwi Speak, how would you describe Kiwi Speak? Kiwi Speak is probably like the greatest hits of New Zealand lingo and when I say New Zealand it's not New Zealand because you know Holly you know you're from, you're from Britain originally yes. so um, there are no vowels in Zealand <laughs> and it's all one vowel actually uh, so, um, so it's like uh, Zealand so all right so because I really can't do a New Zealand accent I'm rubbish at it so so you ch- Zealand, teach me Zealand, so, Zealand, New, Zealand, New, yeah. New Zealand. All, yeah all one syllable all Zealand. One syllable, Zealand like Simon Bridges Zealand. So, <laughs> it's like New Zealand that's it <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. so it's about the syllables. I always just thought we mumbled a lot. Oh, we do mumble a lot as well. But if you say New Zealand, in fact, this was on the, on the Facebook page when I released the book, and people said, I don't talk like that. And then someone said, I just spoke uh, into my phone with Siri and tried to say what country I was from, and it said, I don't even understand what you're saying. Because we say it. New Zealand. It's Zealand. Zealand. Yeah. So, so you first published this book in 2008, yeah. correct? Yeah. So this is the updated version. Yeah. How fast does our language change? Well, a lot's changed phrases. in 10 years, and I, I, I really look at the heroes we have now like Lord, Flight of the Concords, uh, Taika Waititi, you know, these, yeah. these, the, the, the country has really changed and also a lot of our speech has changed. This, this Nana speak and Dad speak and Mum speak, well that's never going to change because that's just <laughs> bizarre thanks to my mother Lynn and my father Chris and my sister, God the things she used to say around the house. But now there's a Skuck speak chapter so we, we're yes. now moving into egg and spoon. Uh, and all that sort of stuff that Tyker's now brought back with the movies. We always said you're an egg, yes, but it's true. just now that it's come back into our vernacular. I'd know. never heard that until I came to this country. Oh, it's a great egg. Kiwi saying. I know. Yeah. The other thing I, I, friends at home always get me on is, well, I say awesome a lot. I never really, I never said awesome back yeah. in the UK. Yeah. Oh, for awesome, though, is, is, is part of that Absolutely. whole thing, Absolutely, and there's, there's a TV speak chapter. There's also uh, TV ads, because TV ads really change the way we speak as well. I don't want your ghost chips. I know you know, that. When, when yes. that comes out, you're like, what? What, what, if someone had just arrived here from Germany, they'd be like, what's the ghost chips out of Yeah, like, what? I don't really know. It's, what uh, else is that? Um, the other one, you're not in Guatemala not in now, Guatemala Dr. Now. Dr. And then it's really old ads, like uh, any last requests, uh, Pixie Caramel. Yes. If you said that to my kids, they'd be like, Dad, I don't know what you're talking I about. I had no idea. Yeah, I, I had yeah. to learn a lot of this from you, I think, at Classic Hits days yeah. when we yeah, were yeah, on yeah. there, right? Back in yeah. the day, Justin. Well, and one of, one of the telly ones I like too is, who stole the telly? Who stole the telly? <laughs> Morris was very depressed. I, I bet you there are a lot of people watching right now that'll be thinking, I have no idea have where no that's idea. from. And that was an insurance ad, and it was yes. a cockatoo and the cat, and this is when we sound like we're really old farts. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wanted to test you both because oh, okay. I, I brought in a chocolate fish. That's and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you five sayings. You need to complete them. Whoever wins, you know, gets five, gets the chocolate fish. The loser has to count backwards from five in Maori. Oh gee. Okay, <laughs> not not forwards, backwards in Maori. So the pressure's on. Win. <laughs> all right, okay, so I'm gonna give you the sayings. First of all, number one, just yanking your chain. Ch- no, yeah. Chain. Number two, bit nippy round the edges. The, bit nippy um, round the, the, the. It's cold today. It's a bit nippy round the nipples. <laughs> I'm going to give that to you, Holly. It's puppies. Okay, okay puppies. so it's one oh, all. Puppies, that's right. Akumara short of a hungry. Two oh. one to Holly. Uh, silent but violent. Loud but proud. proud. Oh, that's a tie. So it's still two one to Holly. You got to get this, Mike. Gives a hoon on you. Dairy. Oh. Right, so you get a chocolate fish, Holly. Shake my hand. Congratulations, Mike. Uh, backwards and Maori. Oh. Five down to one. Tell you about Tori Rima. 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 Uh, Rima. <laughs> anyway, so you think you think you save so, me, save me, so please. So, Justin, who did you write the book for? Um, you two. I just yeah. Thought, no, I, I, this is written by four and a half million New Zealanders, really. I mean, yeah. if it wasn't for me eavesdropping, I'm, I'm not a historian, I'm an eavesdropper, so I sit on the bus, I sit in cafes and go, oh, that's a really good one, I'll take that one. OK, so yeah. is that where you, where you got the sayings from? Because I, I guess there are some pivotal characters in New Zealand that have provided over the years some classic Kiwi sayings, or is it just conversations you hear? All conversations, but also I dedicated it to, to John Clark, you know, Fred Dagg, and also Murray Ball, because they passed away in the last couple of years, and I was, I was really gutted when those two guys died and mm. other Kiwis. 
but they really shape their language with their words and ideas. You know, they, like Fred Dagg, he, if he was, he'd be like Flight of the Concords now, you know, kick it in the guts, Trev. And, and again, if you said that to someone, they're like, what are you talking about? But also Murray Ball, you know, with Foot Rock Flats and just the things they said on the farm, which was the quintessential Kiwi farm. So I really, yeah, I want to thank all the, you know, four and a half New Zealand, four and a half million New Zealanders, four and a half New Zealanders, for, sure. <laughs> um, um, for really writing this book because it's because of them that um, I, I do it. But I really, it's a love letter to my, my family too. Right. The things that went on in the house and the, and the crazy stuff that went you on. You know, your family, I've met your family, they're, they're awesome. You're great. <laughs> your dad's a great bloke. What are some of the things that your mum and dad would say around the house? Uh, well, dad's classic one was, um, I'll just go and get a plate for the, um, can you pass me a plate for the meat? And I know it sounds really boring and dull, but what dad would do was when he cooked a barbecue, he'd, uh, he'd take the raw meat out on a plate. Yeah. And yeah. Then every <laughs> single time he'd say, can I have another plate for the, for the meat? Because you can't put the cooked meat back no. on the one where the raw meat was. And I'm going, this happened for like 15 years. <laughs> it's like, would you not take two plates out to the barbecue? True. All the time you know? it happens. Was one of my, what's your favourite, how'd you break it into chapters? Because one of my favourite chapters is mum speak. Um, just classics, do you want to clip around the air? If everyone else jumped off the harbour bridge, would, would you? you? And you go, yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. What's the magic word? I mean, how did you split it into chapters? Well, because uh, I wrote rugby speak first and then cricket speak, and that was around sport. And then I was going to do a book called Farm Speak, and then I realised that why didn't I just put it all into one right. one book? And so then it became, you know, Nana Speak, and and then you just start thinking, what did my nanas in Whanganui used to say? Because I used to go there for school holidays. God, it was boring. Uh, but that's fine. And then so I think, what would Dad say? And then what did uh, Mum say? So and then Sports Speak. So a lot of the two is what you yell out to your kids on the sidelines. Uh, at, at sport, you know, there's horse racing speak, all the stuff that I'm not really a massive horse racing fan, but once you start talking to horse racing fans, there's all this, you know, I'll well, be careful of Stan, he cuts his own hair. And that one you know. <laughs> <laughs> and what is there's another one, isn't there? Um, something about the it'll, hat and the horse. You're a oh, 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 horse. hat and no horse. Oh, oh, hat or no it'll horse. pay the grandstand today. You know, there's all <laughs> yes, these ones that yes. they've been saying at um, Alexandra and Ellerslie for years, but we're just going, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? about? Yeah. What about the Maori influence in the book as oh, well? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because well, um, I know Puku. puku I, you know, I've yeah. learnt some, some of these from people to say it, and I'd be like, what is that? And I love the mixture of English and Maori too, like half pie. Yeah. Because, of, again, if you're someone landing here, you go, oh, ha is that half a pie? You go, no, pie is good, so it's kind of half good. You're not, not really that <laughs> tall, eh? It's like half pie. And to Mickey, to, I love to Mickey, you know, it's just ace, cool. Yeah. What about Scum. hungus? Because hungus is a word that I've heard. Hungus, yes. Yeah. Don't the be book? such a hungus. Yes. Yeah, so that basically it's like Homer Simpson turning up to the smorgasbord and comes back with 16 plates. And it's like, <laughs> don't be such a hungus. hungus. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. me all the time. Um, what would be your favourite Kiwi saying? I've got to say uh, Nick Manor. Nick Manor. Nick Manor. Nice. Because I just used to hate it. I was just, this is stupid. And then you start using it because I you know, went down the dairy and uh, having a scooter stolen. Nick Manor. Nick Manor. I mean, it's just, and it just, this guy became a superstar it in New did. Zealand and had yeah. millions of views and didn't unfortunately get paid anything for it because he just put it on YouTube. And, but now we use it as part of our vernacular. So I'd have to say Nick Minute or Beach Dads Bro. I still love Beach mm, Dads Bro. Yes. Or is, maybe, yeah. is there any sayings you left out of the book because you couldn't print them? I <laughs> <laughs> Don't say them. Uh, well, there is one, Mike. Yeah, no, I can't say it. No, oh. yeah. If you go to the original version of this, which came out in 2008, it's still in there. Oh, OK, uh, cool. Yeah, look for it. Uh, no, no, I can't say it. You can't say it. You're not allowed. Um, <laughs> you have written, what, 30, 31 books? Yeah. 32, so, 32. 32 now. Mm. Um, what are you most proud of, Justin? Most proud of, um, I write a lot for kids now, so I write kids fiction, so for 8 to 12 year olds, because I've got the brain of a 10 year old, which is <laughs> useful. Uh, so I had a, a, a book called Shot Boom Score, which is about a kid, actually it's about a kid who uh, is useless at school, but his father, uh, you know, says if you, if, you get a, if you get 10 wickets and 20 tries, I'll buy you a PlayStation. It's that whole bribe thing that Kiwi parents seem to do on the <laughs> sidelines. Yeah. And there's a bully at school de who derails the whole thing and he just tries to ruin uh, this boy's life. So Shot Boom Score would be my, because it's my first you know, fiction book too, so I've yeah. written a lot of non-fiction. Um, but of course Kiwi Speak has been, has been very good to me too because um, it's, it's, it's in batches and houses all around the country and people just read it, they read it on the loo. You know, it's just for, and it fits in your handbag. No, no, it, it's an educational tool as well no, no, for anyone really that comes to New Zealand. No, you yeah, I was just going to say, perfect gift for visitors from overseas, but I picked it up and I laughed all the way through it. I just thought it was funny. It evoked a lot of memories, but also was an education and learning about where they came from yeah, and some of the mean 
Grouse. 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 Tony yeah. Grouse. Yeah. Sweet yeah. ass yeah. Brown. Yeah. Thanks so much. That was Primo Justin. Shot. Thanks, Shot. And Justin's <laughs> brand new edition of Kiwi Speak is available now from all good bookshops. So rattle your dags and get yourself along to buy yourself a coffee. I can't, I can't even. I, I can't even say it. Can I? New Zealand. New Zealand. Okay. New Zealand. I'm gonna head over here. You finish this off. <laughs> yes.